Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, mom, you're actually gonna stand here, two hand on his head. Okay. Um, and you have a muzzle. Give me the reason why you have a muzzle, though. I, whenever I would go to PetSmart, okay. I always took him in with a muzzle and took him out with the muzzle. Okay. Because they had traffic in there that he would get uh, a little. Uh, he barked a lot and. Okay. I see lots of, flea this is flea dirt right here. You're kidding. All this black stuff is flea dirt. So we may see fleas. Flea dirt or flea poop is, I don't know how he has fleas. We're not there yet. So I don't know, <laughs> but that amazing. is flea dirt there. But you said, you know, he's on a, a preventative. So I'm just gonna, David, just keep it. I'm gonna call you if I need you, just help me spray. Okay, you got it. All right. Um, he totally but that pepper, when it has pepper like that, especially right here, fleas love this area because the dog can't reach there. Okay, so we're just gonna keep our eyes open. Um, so we're gonna do a short haircut today because he's yes. a senior pet and has a, like, he can sit, he can sit all day long until we get to where I need him to stand. So if he wants to sit, he can sit, okay? okay. Oh, what's all that? So he can be done. You're a sweet boy. You're a sweet boy. Yeah. So we're doing a seven down all over because me and mom already had conversation about hair and everything, and that's because he's a senior pet and he has lots of. He was uh, told not to come back, right? Right. Not to come back to the pet smart here in Watauga, Texas, because he was sitting the whole time. Um, which we understand that, right? We do a lot of seniors here. I'm talking about the folks are always watching. You can sit down, my friend. You can sit. I'm going to try not to have to muzzle him now, but if we have to, we'll, we'll go there. Since you're up there, I'm hoping he just uh, is on good behavior. And I went ahead and sprayed the trash and the hair here with the uh, front line, or excuse me, Adams, just as a precautionary. Okay. And I'm trying to contain anything because I'm seeing a lot of what I, I'm very familiar with leaves, so I'm seeing a lot of, yep, there we go. With that, I sprayed. Are you kidding? He's alive and well. Oh, okay, David, I need you to spray, please. And he's never out Suffers of Suckers are jumping, man. Other than being in the yard, He's in my house. I mean, he's not going anywhere. Right, right. And if you could set me up, I wanted to try that stuff there. If I can get a, if I could spray a flea, because uh, our YouTube friend sent it. Just watch my foot here, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. When I come up and do more of the feet and, or the feet and the face, they're all muzzle. Okay. So David's uh, sprayed to kind of contain our our groom here, and that's because flea eggs can last up to three years without hatching. So we don't want to spread it, and we don't want our salon infested. So we have to make Absolutely. sure we take provisions on that. Absolutely. And me and mom just got done talking about it too. Yeah, true, baby. It says you can spray this on the dog. Spray it on the dog? Great. Bring Lightly it over here, please. Lightly damp. Uh, this is our our gift from our client. And so when I see it, is it ready to go? Sure. Not, as bad, not as strong as the Adams is what I hear. But we're going to see. We're going to try it out. If I see one, we're going to zap it and see if it, what it does. If I see another one, because I already saw one now. And it almost got away, too. It was on the outside of the body. On the bottom side of the hair. And a lot of stuff here. Yeah, spray up front, please. I'm sure I'm probably one of the only groomers that panics when it comes to fleas, but I've never let someone go home with fleas, so I don't I don't plan on ever changing that. Oh and you know, we before we got on the the heart guard play preventative you know, 
having a flea outbreak is awful. So Harcourt is not a flea, a flea one. So it depends on what you're. Well, it's Sentinel. Well, or, Sentinel is different than Harcourt. I mean, but Sentinel it's a combination. Is, so Sentinel, if you read the box, Sentinel says it does not kill the live fleas on your dog. However, it will kill. It will prevent that flea from laying eggs. That will hatch is what it's supposed to do. Okay. This so I used to use Sentinel, and when I worked with uh, the Dr. Graham that I worked with, I, I realized, wow, I'm not using Sentinel ever again. I got off of Sentinel. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, we can talk later after if you want about that. He's, are you so itchy, man? I know what you're going through. There's pepper everywhere. You see what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. All this pepper? Yes, There's I do. There's pepper everywhere here. As soon as I see that, I, I know there's fleas involved. I'm I, trying see, to, I didn't know he had any. I mean, there's one running around. Let's see what happens here. Still moving. Because some folks are adamant about this vet's best stuff. So, is he still moving? I don't see him. <laughs> I don't want to prove these guys wrong because I was like, oh no, Adam's flea shampoo or flea is the best. He's gone, man. He didn't die. <laughs> Still Adams, in there? As soon as you spray Adams, man, they're out of there. I didn't know you had fleas, baby. I'm sorry. Sorry, she's letting me use her as a guinea pig here. Yeah, he's gone. So I'll try it one more time, but right there, I'm going to tell you, that stuff does not work. <laughs> Let me see if it's even recording, but you capture that. Yeah, yeah I capture that. So Adams, I would spray and then pick it right off. That's what I would have done, but I could, it was already, I sprayed it and sprayed it a lot and it's gone now. Okay, so, um, hmm. Let me do this. I'm gonna lift his head here. So he's kind of looking up, okay, and then He's not showing signs of aggression, but he, he gives me this nervous, a little bit of feel of nervousness. Yeah. You know, what I'm do you know what I mean? Yes. Do you feel it? Mm-hmm. And he does get really nervous. Does he? Yes. Okay. So we'll do this just so I can move quicker. Okay, can I put this on you? Don't get mad at me. Let's see what I got going on. There we go. Now I can get in here. You like your baby. Yes, I am. I'm sorry, there's like poop back here, buddy. Bear with me here. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Too. It's like dried poop. It's so, yeah, it just needs to be shaved off. He's, I, I don't know what cause, I, like I say, I keep trying to find food to hold up so his stomach and yeah. maybe I'll eat. And, um, he does get diarrhea a lot. Does he? Yeah. Isn't that right, baby? Oh, 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 oh. There's one right there, alive and well. It's like, did it do anything? I don't know. I don't believe, I don't think this stuff is working, man. Really. Thanks for letting me do this. Oh, not a problem. She let me like try all these things. She's probably like, you just get to work now. Sorry, I'm just gonna do that in case I fall off. It's okay, sugar. So he's standing the whole time so far. Yeah, so far. Are you seeing this? 
So mom said that the last groomer at PetSmart, you know, this is her story. This is her dog. This is this is what's going on. They said uh, you can't really come back, right? You can't come back because right. your pet won't stand up. And how did they really put it? That I needed Just, to take him to the vet and have him groomed, but then my vet doesn't groom dogs. And but what, um, have your vet groomed because of what? To get sedation groomed or what? No, what does because that imply? it couldn't stand up okay. and they couldn't groom him unless he would stand oh, longer. See. But look, we are, haven't even used the dog up stand yet, which I invented the dog up stand, right? My brother-in-law and I. And look, he's standing on his own, right? And I don't know how long they had him standing. True. Uh, how long was he there? Usually when I drop him off, he'll be gone for four hours. Okay. okay. Yeah, so we don't know, do we? Mm -mm. Some of those things we're just not going to know ever. And, yeah, I never was allowed back in the back, so I don't know what all went on back there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How are we looking over here? Oh yeah, much cooler. Yeah, it's okay, sure. This is a lot. You can go forward here. There you go. This is a lot quicker than going the other place. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I'm just joking. I know. It's a lot. It's going to be a lot faster. He's in and we should be in and out in an hour. Yeah, we don't want to keep you too long. Yeah, I don't like that. Put your fingers here, Mom. Uh, let's see what I got. Hmm. So if he's had diarrhea, I'm going to go a little short on this tail here. Okay. Okay. Better maintenance, easier oh. to clean. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Getting the diarrhea out of that fur is. Wow, look at him. He's really clean now. Does have a, is this your belly? What's this going on? Yeah. Is that your belly?
through and do the nails here. You can have him look up and just make sure that he's not pushing down on his own neck. But I think he sounds fine. I can hear him. Hang in there. Hang in there. So I'm going to ask you a personal question. Is that okay? Sure. Uh, does he sleep with you? No. Okay. Uh, wherever he sleeps, like today, if I went home today because of the fleas, I would I would take everything out of the house. It's bedding. Okay. If you don't have time to do all that laundry, I would have it outdoors, sitting there, ready, okay. right. And then if you have um, any, if you need to pick up a spray or something, you would spray all the bedding. So okay. you're containing, jumping out, right? Right. And going and doing their thing and staying in your yard. Okay. Right. Then I would wash your bedding, his bedding, anywhere the dog is sleeping, and then. If you need, we can talk about the house spray that we sell and use. The spray, he walked around immediately and sprayed, right? That's going to give us a boundary. If it hits that, the flea's dead. Like, boom, gone. Okay. Um, you might need something like that. That's something you could spray every month because it'll last 30 days. Okay? Okay. Inside and outside is totally up to you. Um, but we want some steps today because he's going to go home with no fleas today. Right. The key is, is that he's just going to pick them right back up in his environment. Remember I told you about the yeah. eggs? Right. Eggs will last three years without hatching. So there, you have enough eggs probably in your house that are going to hatch over the next few months that will keep hatching, keep hatching. So today we'll have to contain yeah. something or it'll be a waste of money. Yeah, absolutely. We'll go home and he'll just get them right back. So uh, there's a few things we'll talk about after we get done grooming, okay? If, okay. You, if you want to. If you okay. want to know what to, what to do. Okay, there's a lot more I want to do. I actually need to do the face before we go to the bath, but I really want to get him in the bath because then we can stop the fleas from moving around and wanting to jump around and stuff like that. Okay, so he has his muzzle on. Are you going to bite me if I take that muzzle off, man? You know, it's pretty hot here in Texas today, isn't it? Sometimes they're all on the head, but I, I think they're just everywhere running around. This one little Maltese, man, we didn't see nothing. Um, we didn't see nothing until she went to the bath and they were all on her forehead. And there was hundreds of them on her forehead. Are I was you like, kidding? They were flying off of her. I was like, oh my gosh, get the spray. <laughs> so you're going to do a four guard kind of down, maybe down and reverse. I'm not sure here. I'm just going to bring this down here. You're okay. You're okay. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, let me see over here. This is matted here. I'm going to shave that one right out. So I'll come out this way. here for a minute. I got you. You're fine. Mom's 
You don't like that? I'm gonna trade your spots, Mom. Okay. Okay. Real quick, get this mat out here. Let me see. Let me see. Look up. You're okay. No, no. You're okay. Yeah, see, Mom's hanging out today with you. Isn't that awesome? Huh? Okay, that's good enough for now. We're going to go to the bath and then... Uh, oh, please, stop. We're going to stop those, please. Okay, stay there one second, Mom. Okay. All right, we'll be back. Uh, we're kind of almost done here. We're gonna, we did left him dry, or okay. we left him to air dry. Yes, that's good. And Mom's been here the whole time, right? Right. Um, but she was just telling me a little story, so I'm gonna let her finish. But he's had, he had soft teeth because he had a fever. fever as a puppy. When the enamel was forming and uh, in bonding his teeth, just like bonding a person's teeth, they I had to put him out under an anesthetic and do all the x-rays and um, they, he was in one position too long so all the blood was running to that position. Okay, switch me size mom. And um, they during the procedure, okay, they, they, all the way on this side. they almost lost him. Okay, and so how old was, was, he, was he then? About two. Wow. And they had to quit, so we had to go back and do more later. So you had to go under again? Right. Wow. And then, how we, did that second one go? We got through that one pretty good. They didn't, they were very... They moved his body then? Yeah. Hopefully. They were what they mindful. I'm, you know, I'm freaking out. What do you mean you almost lost him? Right, at two years old even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, that's scary. So mom has been uh, like, uh, even if we had to do any surgery or something, you, you're saying, you know, you're reluctant to do that, right? Uh, yeah, I'm real you're reluctant to yeah. put him under. Mm -hmm. I would be too. I would be spooked. <laughs> no. That would have spooked me. I would have been like, oh, okay, well, we're not going to have any more dentals on you. But tell me, repeat so for the camera, because I don't think a lot of people understand that. The soft teeth, some dogs had soft teeth, and you found out, like, from the lady who you got him from. The lady I adopted him from told me uh, right away that he had soft teeth. And she explained to me that it doesn't happen often, but sometimes when the teeth are forming, if the puppy has a very high fever, the enamel doesn't form right, which leaves part of the tooth exposed. I mean, it's not I protected it. with mm -hmm. enamel. <laughs> And then when I took him to my vet, just to get, you know, a general checkup after adopting him, the, immediately the vet said, did you know your dog has soft teeth? And mm -hmm. she explained the same thing, that hmm. it happens because when the teeth are forming, the enamel, the puppy has a very high fever. Hmm. Wow, I had no idea. I don't think I've ever heard that story before. I didn't either. Who would have known? Right. So immediately we start off getting teeth bonding, and that, that's not inexpensive either. That's not inexpensive. <laughs> no. So the pup, this dog has his, all his teeth are bonded? He, well. Or what did they do exactly? They put the bonding on, thing on. on. Some of it, okay. some of it's his enamel, some of it is the bonding. But I see. Look at mom. Look at mom. We're just going to take some of this off. Now, does it wear off? I don't know. Hmm. I haven't decided to go back and do that again. Some of it's not real then. Some of it's enamel. It, yeah. Huh. You know, like if you went to your dentist and yeah. you wanted um, like veneers or, right. or some kind of bonding on your teeth, 
I know, I'm sorry, hold on. They do everything for puppy dogs. Yeah, they, they do. do for people. Okay, stay there. Let's see here. I'm gonna get the clippers for the front one more time here. You see this one? Don't get mad. Okay. 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 I got you. Okay. This is nuts in there. An armpit. Okay, I know it doesn't feel good. I know it doesn't feel good. Yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah, I don't like it either. I'm so sorry. Okay, so trying to keep it easy here. How are we looking? We're looking good. Looking good. I do need to check the ears here. Don't get mad. Let me check your ears here, buddy. Yeah, a little dirty, so we'll clean those. He's almost dry now, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. This short hair that, that air, air dry is perfect for senior dogs, man. Don't have to blow dry. It's nice and easy. Go home. He'll be dry before he gets in the car. Especially with our heat down here. Oh yes, it's been unbearable. Oh, he's doing so good, man. Okay. I know, don't look at me like that. Stay there, Mom. Okay, let me see. Dave, do you know where my phone's at? You mind if I do a picture with you, both of you? Okay. Okay, ready? Look at me. Cheese! Awesome, love it. I'm going to send that to you. Okay. Okay, and... We're good to go. Let me do a little spritzer cologne because this smells so good. I'll do rainforest cologne. Very it's good. Simple. Does it does smell like oak dog some kind. <laughs> oh, do you love your baby? I love my baby. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming. Are you happy? Uh, I, yes. Yes. But I need to pay you. Yes, yes. Uh, well, I'm saying bye. All right, thanks for watching DD Core with my favorite girl on YouTube. Thanks for having a new client in today. Fleas are just, they're starting now and it's July, so be ready for them. Thanks so much. Bye bye.